between the Tigers of Grambling State and your Prairie View and m University Panthers. Coach, you got the starters for Grambling State. Gray, you got the starters for Prairie View and m Starting for Grambling State, uh, six-foot guard, uh, Travell Cunningham, a 6'6 guard, Kelton Edwards, a 6'6 guard, Christian Cameron, and a 6'7 uh, guard, uh, Prince Moss, and a 6'8 forward, Saran McGee. And for the Panthers, we have a 6'8 senior forward, Linnell Henry, 6'3 sophomore guard, Jeremiah Gimbro, 6'2 senior guard, Dwayne Cox, 6'7", junior guard, Jawan Daniels. And 6'2", junior guard, Cam Max. So we've only seen the Panthers play one game. The, That's true. The, they, they've only had one conference game because most of their game with Alcorn and Southern was postponed. And then the, the game with Jackson State was also postponed. So... The men's basketball standing, Southern is 2-0, oh, Alabama A&M is 1-0, and oh, Prairie A&M is 1-0, and oh, Jackson State is 1-0. Oh, so you have all like this weird four-way tie. Everybody has not played the same amount of games, but hopefully as the season goes on and games are being made up, the standings will be more clear. Right. Well, the Grambling Tigers went down to the down 290 and ended up on 45. Uh, and beat the Texas Southern Tigers, but they were led in scoring by Cameron Christian. He had 18 points, 5'11 from the field. Uh, Saran McGee had 16 points. He was 6'11 for the field. And Kelton Edwards had 10 points. He was 3 of 5 from the field. So it appears it appears as Mr. as Cameron goes, Grambling State goes. He's their scorer. He's their do-everything guy. So he gets everybody else involved. But if he gets it going and other people around him get going, uh, it could be a very interesting game. But I look for the Prairie View Panthers uh, with the guard play, with uh, J with Jeremiah Daniels, with, with Jawan Daniels, Mr. Gambrell, Mr. Cameron Matt. I look for them to come out and play very well, put pressure, mm -hmm. run that chaotic style, keep the pressure going, keep the pressure going, and then look to score baskets. Shoot the ball well, we'll leave here with a victory tonight. Yeah, I, we know the Prairie, Prairie View Panthers, after we watched them play not too long ago, it was last week, they do have very chaotic defense led by, you know, Dwayne Cox, who is a senior this year. That, that He's very explosive and he's very quick with it. Last game, the Panthers actually fouled a lot. We had what, one or two people foul out. We had one or two people with four fouls. So they, they had Texas Southern shooting 40 or so free throws and Prairie View A&M was only shooting like 15. Well, you know, coming to this contest, Juwan Daniels is, is, is number 14th in the SWAC, averaging 11.7 a game. Dell Roberts is number 18, averaging 10.3 points a game. And Jeremiah Gamble is number 22, he's, and he's averaging, uh, he's averaging about nine points a game. The Panthers are averaging 64 points a game, and the Grambling State Tigers are averaging 60, uh, I'm sorry, Prairie average 65. The Panthers and the Tigers are averaging 64 points per game. So I expect it to be an up and down game. I look forward to be an up and down contest. Uh, a lot of shooting the basketball and um, turnovers again are the key. Uh, stop fouling, as you talked about, Ray. Canyon fouls and play consistent basketball. And again, remember the Panthers are working out the kinks. So they really, as you talked about, they haven't really played anybody. Yep, they they haven't played. They only they've only had one conference game, and it looks like some of the teams here they they they've only had one or two. The only people that have a, a good collect was Grambling State. That's who we're playing now. They are three and one. The Panthers lose the tip and the uh, Grambling State Tigers control here. Cabell Cunningham will have it at the top of the key and bring it around. Cam Mack finds an opening, puts it up. It's blocked by Dewan Daniels and we're going back the other way quickly. Cam Mack on the right side to Cox. Cox uh, pushed out of the way. Another turnover. And uh, Javel Cunningham will come and bring it right side. Christian on the right side, on the wing, waiting for it, gets it, cut off. There by Jeremiah Gambrell, left side, Prince Moss for three, it's good. Yeah, he caught that, 
Lack late on defense, and he got a wide open look and knocked it down. A little full half court trap right here. For the last three years, Prince Moss has been their premier three point shooter. He can do it. Here we go, left side. Cam Mack gives it up to Linnell Henry. Henry for two. Good, good. knocks that shot down right at the elbow. Great, great pass by Mack, giving it to him at the elbow. He knocks it down. That's mm -hmm. his shot. 20 and in, he can do it. Here we go, back up top now with Travell Cunningham. 18.54 left to play in the first half. Cunningham, right side now to Christian. Christian kicks it back out, throws it back. It's saved in by oh, Prince save. Moss. Good save into Cunningham, down low, and uh, putting it in for two yeah, uh, is going to be Sirion McGee. Yep, a great pass by Mr. Um, Mr. Mr. Cunningham to Mr. McGee. 5-2, the Tigers on top. Here comes Mack. Oh, great move. Great move and puts it up for two. Little, little old school move. He mm -hmm. attacks the basket. He cups it. We used to say cup it back in the day and lay it, it up, off, not, not exactly. and lay it up off the glass. What do they call it now? Uh, I don't know what they call okay. it. Okay. <laughs> what, what would be the deal? I don't know. Ray might know. Yeah. Here we go. Travell Cunningham now stops at the right elbow, puts it up, hits the side of the iron. No good. Cox and uh, Henry almost uh, fight for the rebound, and we're going back the other way. Mack back up top with it. Kicks it right side to Jeremiah Gambrell. Gambrell trying to go around Juan Daniels and get the pick. Daniels has it. He'll spot for three. Looks good. Knocks it, it down. Pick and pop action with between Gambrell and Jawan Daniels. Left him open the free throw. Three-point line. He knocked it down. 17-42 left to play here in the first half. 7-5 to score. The Panthers up to Cunningham. Here comes that swarming defense of the Panthers. Henry kicks it right corner. To Christian. Christian turning, working on Gambrell. Great. He knocks it away. Christian in trouble. Prince Moss will have it now with four seconds on the shot clock. A teardrop. It's off the mark and it's knocked out of bounds. That looked like by, by Sirion McGee. Looks like he came across <laughs> and knocked it out. That was around. great defense by the Panthers of, of Prairie View AM. Great, great swarming defense. 2 2 1 press by the Grambling State Tigers. 17 16 left to play. Didn't realize. Uh, Coach, that uh, you couldn't see the time uh, <laughs> on the live stream. I got fussed at here. I didn't realize you couldn't see it, folks. I'm sorry. We'll make sure that we keep it going. Here goes Lonell Henry trying to get the ball mm -hmm. and has it knocked away, and we'll go back the other way. Probably should have thrown it up for the lob. Cunningham. Spins, turns, almost stolen by Henry. Now Cunningham will spot for three. He's wide open. Looks good. It's not. Cox gets the rebound. And, uh, oh, he stepped oh, out. Oh, my goodness. He just couldn't. He, he, he did everything. He couldn't, couldn't get it. it. Kept falling out of his hand. Uh, and he ended up stepping out on the inbounds. Coach Smith said, just take your time. Calm down. The Panthers very antsy. Grambling State has, has played four conference games already, and Prairie A&M has only played one. They got a foul on right a there. A foul on Henry. Or is they going to call that one on Cam Mack? I, I, I Cam think Mack. Was standing right in the way. Cam Mack. Cam Max going to pick it up. Yep, got it with a block. Uh, travel. Traveling violation. Yeah. And the Panthers get a turnover. We're going back the other way. We're going to the bench and uh, up off the bench for the Panthers. It's yep. going to be uh, Darrell Roberts. Yes. Roberts with some quality minutes last week. Played very Texas well. Southern. Played very well against Texas Southern. He brought a lot of energy and then scored the basketball as well. Mm -hmm. Roberts is 6'7", junior from Los Angeles, California. Here we go, left side. Daniels kicks it over to Lanell Henry and back up top now to Cam Mack. A little horns action right there. Getting the ball to the elbow to Mr. Henry. Mack to Gambrell for three. In and out, no good. Quick shot, quick trigger. And we got to go back the other way now here. Up top, left corner, or left wing rather, is Christian. Back left over to Kelton Edwards. Edwards to work on Gambrell. Now they give it back over the left side. Travell Cunningham with it now, working on Matt. Cunningham throws it all the way out. Good ball movement back over to yeah. Cunningham for two. Yeah, he has great ball movement by the, late, by the Tigers of Grambling State. Check that that was 11. Uh, Kelton Edwards, not 10. Well, Henry with a oh, shot. Henry, Henry with a, with a three. two. In the corner. You know what they say, hand down, man down. Mm -hmm. And he knocks the shot down. 9-7 <laughs> the score here. 15-32 left to play here in the first half.
Cunningham working on Mack. Left side gets it over down to Edwards. Edwards over to Sarion McGee. Has it knocked away. Here comes Cam Mack. They got to chase it down. And uh, just a little bit quicker was uh, Kelton yeah. Edwards, and he gets the air and pass down. They throw it down. Uh, another turnover. Trying to get it to Sarion mm -hmm. McGee. Mm -hmm. Too much throw air. Away and uh, media timeout yeah. on the court or a 30 second. Mm -hmm. Media timeout here on the court, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers are up by two, seven to nine, with 15.43 left to play. We'll step aside and come back with more exciting Panther basketball. We're back live here in the uh, William Nick Center. Ladies and gentlemen, 14.58 left to play. Here in the first half, Cam Mack takes it from three. It's, it's partially shot. blocked, yeah. and we're going back the other way. That was a tough shot by Cam Mack. Looked like he forced that shot. And for the Tigers of Graham State, Peyton Taylor. Taylor, a uh, junior from uh, Cleveland. Mississippi. Yeah, that's and, what he uh, does. He just steps right in. That's what Cameron, Cameron does. Chris Christian, Trump. that's what he does. Yeah, <laughs> comes back and pops another three. Now the Tigers up by one, 10-9. The Tigers yeah, come in with Tiger. a three and one record in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Matt takes it, kicks it in the corner. Jeremiah Gambrell for three, so, hits the back so of the they iron. Call. No good, and they're going to call that one on, on Henry. On Henry. Um, on Linnell Henry. You did this. We'll wait for the official to see. When they put their arms crossed like this, Hold it's up. usually called a double foul. Okay. Now, again, when the officials start to huddle, uh -huh. that tells you one or two things. Either there, must, there could have been some talking going on. And, and, and there's some kind of warning. Let's see what we got. They're going to look at it. See? They're going flagrant oh, one, oh. flagrant one. Whenever flagrant they have a conversation, talk about flagrant. There's always something that's going to go on. So they're going to look and talk about a flagrant, possible flagrant one. While we have a minute, folks, uh, per on the officials to come back. It's uh, the mm -hmm. score is ten to nine. The Grambling State Tigers leading the Prairie View Panthers. They're discussing right now. The officials in the middle floor. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some discussion. We mm -hmm. don't want to speculate. Uh, some type of foul, possibly a possibly a fra a flagrant one, one foul, mm -hmm. and now they're going to go look at it again. Mm -hmm. If they do have a flagrant foul, they're trying to explain to both people what's going on. They're going to say again. We talked about him pulling him down from the shoulders. Let's see what they call. If either it's a two shot, let's see if it's a flagrant. It's well, a two shot in the ball. Mm -hmm. they, they're not. They got to tell you. The announcer, they're not telling anybody. Well, I need a little buzzer here myself. So right. I can. right. So that everybody's waiting to hear what it is. Mm -hmm. But just from my experience, we'll it's wait a flavor one. Flavor one foul on Linnell Henry. Yeah, right. Two shots. Two shots on this end. Grammar State's going to shoot two. Well, I guess the fans in the stand don't need to know. Two shots on this end and right. two on that one. I'm going to give you, a I'm gonna give you, I give you my <laughs> version of it. Uh, flagrant yeah. one, two shots. <laughs> yeah. And the ball. And the, I think the ball is going to well, be down on this end. Yeah, Henry uh, pulled him down. Right. Mm -hmm. So they said he grabbed him by the back. By the back, yeah. And so that's a flagrant one. So it should be two shots. And then we'll see where the ball goes. If it's a dead ball foul, the ball was underneath. Okay, so right. So now what happens is two shots, they get the ball back. The foul took place underneath. Mm -hmm. Yep, so now the uh, Tigers will have, right. have to bring right. it all the way You go shoot, and then you get the ball back on a dead ball where the foul took place. 11-9 to nine How now about that explanation? the 11. score. 14-9 <laughs> the score. 11-9 the score. Uh, 14.09 left to play. Here we go, cross court with it. Now over to Peyton Taylor. Back over to Cunningham. Cunningham 
Back over to Chris Sean. He can shoot the three. Kicks it back up now right in the middle to Edwards. Edwards hits the back of the iron. And coming out with it is Mack. And the Tigers are up two here with 1340 left to play in the first half. Gambrell over to Cox left side now to Cam Mack. Looking for the corner. Can't find it. Now stops. Oh, Sutter great steps. move. Oh, oh man. Turn it over, to, though. Was trying to get it over to Juwan Daniels. Yeah. They get it right side. And here we go. Ah, and that one falls for Peyton Taylor. Yeah, that's five turnovers for the uh, for the Prairie View Panthers. Led to two points. Gambrell with it on the right wing. Kicks it now left to Cam Mack. Roberts sets the pick. Oh, pardon me, that's Briscoe, 14. That's lucky in uh, for Darrell Roberts. Gerardo Briscoe. Briscoe oh, going hustle. up and put it back yeah. up there for Wayne Cox. Dwayne Cox, Dwayne great Dwayne rebound. Cox Tough, Cox smallest, smallest, smallest person on the court. On the court. <laughs> yes, did a great job getting there. That is a big rebound. And got a big time rebound and used the glass. It's a foul. And uh, they're going to call that one on uh, Cox with Cox. some good defense. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. Uh, <laughs> Dwayne Cox is always explosive on defense. He, he's always he's shown that last year and definitely shows it this year. Plays tough. Plays a but doesn't play his height. Let me say that way. Taylor. A little man to man action, a little box screen action. Mm -hmm. Almost steal by Cam Mack. Taylor and travel forced uh, to travel. turnover. Yeah, good defense. There comes that swarming defense yes. by the Panthers. Up off the bench, uh, checking in for the Panthers now. Here comes Darrell Roberts. Mm -hmm. Gambrell will take a seat. Roberts will come in now. You've got Briscoe and Roberts in along with uh, Daniels. Clock. Mm -hmm. Mack. And Dwayne Cox. 27, I think he said 27 on the shot clock. Yes. So we had a little stoppage in play, uh, getting the time right. Here comes Gambrell back in mm -hmm. the game for the Panthers to give Cox a break. Right. Getting the ball inbounds. Briscoe with it on the right side. Back out now to Gambrell. Mack. Swing it, yeah. On the right wing now. He'll take it and dribble drive. Kicks it on the right side now to Juwan Daniels. Daniels. Oh, man, with a great Euro move. With a, off the backboard. It's tipped. Yeah. And Daniels tries to get it. And there's a mad scuffle for it on the ground. It's going to be a tie up. And the uh, possession now. Uh, nope, a, call, a timeout by the Panthers. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, timeout. Grandma State. Grandma called Everybody was calling the timeout. The referee just had to pick one. Right. right. <laughs> Thirty second timeout by the Tigers of Grandma State, folks. The Panthers hit the road this weekend uh, to uh, Pine Bluff and Valley University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, and then Mississippi Valley State. Mm -hmm. The media timeout had some. Well, they, they're going to change, stretch it into yeah, a media. Yeah, they're going to stretch it to media. Stretch it into a media. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a media timeout with them. 13 to 11, the score with 11.29 left to play here in the first half. The Panthers are down by two. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. Welcome back to the, to the Baby Dome. Grambling 13, preview 11. 12 minutes and two seconds in the first half. You know, a lot of uh, aggressive defense being played here, Coach. I mean, the Panthers are really getting after it. Uh, but uh, I'm impressed with Grambling State. They're coming out with a lot of high energy out here. They definitely are. They're handling, they're handling the pressure uh, by the Panthers. Um, and so now you just got to settle down, calm down, and play basketball. Cunningham gets it over to the right side. Five. Now into the hands of Peyton Taylor. Taylor takes it coast to coast. No. And here we go now to Cam Mack, and Mack will bring it across the timeline here to set the Panthers up. Mack dribble, drives, throws it in the corner. Man, good job of recovering there. Great help. There by Jeremiah Gambrell. Gambrell comes from to the right side, shoots it over to Cox in the corner to Juwan Daniels. Back up top. Gambrell cut off. 
Now brings it right side on the dribble drive. Kicks it out. Cam Mack loses it, and we're going back the other way. Here comes Cunningham. Oh, oh great good. block. Blocked that time. Now Roberts. Man, Roberts. Darrell Roberts got up that time. Here we go. Daniels thought about it. Now shoots it from 20. <laughs> oh, in and out, no good. Roberts. And now everybody's going to slow mm -hmm. it down a little. It was fast paced, yeah. shoot a basket, good him down the floor. Now the Grandma State is going to take their time and try to run some offense. Roberts almost snatched it away over there. Here we come back up top on the curl with Christian. They give it left side now to Tyrion Randolph. Randolph mm -hmm. with the dribble drive goes mm -hmm. towards Briscoe. the bucket, and he's going to be fouled by Briscoe. Yeah, Briscoe, all Briscoe needed to do was just stay home. He had him contained. Just stay home. Wall up, put your hands up. Mm -hmm. He got into his body, and you just keep your hands up and don't. Hands have to be straight, straight up in up. the air. Mm -hmm. Keep your body straight. No call. Randolph will uh, go to the line and you to see shoot free throws. Randolph, a 6'8", senior from Dallas, Texas. And checking in floor. from Yeah, checking in is going to be uh, Tremichael Morton. Well, they're going to call that one on the floor. That's a great for us. No more no free throws. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, oh, great nobody. ball move. Oh, man. A good job of getting in the way there. Is that Gidga and Gidge? Yeah. Great move. Now they said Gidry. This you said you just call him Gidry, but that's not the way to pronounce his name. <laughs> Mac over to Gambrill. Back over to Cam Mac. Mac finds a hole. Now puts it up with a left hand layup. No good off the glass. No prize at the end of the shot. Yeah. Great move. Mm -hmm. Just didn't finish it. Up off the bench for the Panthers now is uh, Damari Paris. Here we go, right side. Left hand yeah. running jumper from Cameron Woodall. Yeah, Bo, Bo gave him the baseline. He got the baseline, used his left hand, and shot it up. Made, it, made a great float shot on the baseline. 9.48 left to play. Gambrell kicks it left side to Cam Mack. Daniels setting the pick. All the way across. Is that Cox in the corner? Couldn't mm -hmm. see. Cox yeah, gets his own rebound, rebound, puts it back. Great up. job. Oh, and one. Great job. <laughs> That was a great job by Cox. Cox got the rebound, attacked the basket. Now we got the N one. And one. <laughs> Cox, man, is uh, one of the <laughs> one of the most hustling players on the Prairie View and the University team. I mean, he's a, just a great defender, great kid, and uh, he's like the Energizer Bunny. He's not gonna stop. Plays with a lot of energy. Uh, play with a lot of energy. Uh, and, and when Ray you looked at me like, that's an understatement. Yeah, <laughs> but when you play with a lot of energy and you don't get down if you make or miss a shot, just keep playing. You play through your mistakes. You play through. Um, good things happen for you. Cox's second shot is away. It's good. 9.33 left to play in the first. 14. Uh, just making sure that that's right. 15 uh, to 13. The Tigers up by two. Here we go. Right side now. Cameron Christian. Has this shot knocked away. Coming down with a rebound is Cobb. Cobb in trouble. trouble. And now they give it up, man. The swarming defense by the Panthers. Oh, nice. oh man. And they're going to call a ticky-tack foul there yeah. on Gerardo Briscoe. Yeah. Well, again, he left his feet. I think if he stands, stands still, keeps his hands straight up in the air, I don't think the foul is called. But he left his feet. Cameron Woodall, 64% from the free throw line. Woodall is from Raymond, Mississippi, a junior. At the line, a uh, few new faces here for the Grambling State Tigers. First shot is the way it's good. 16-14. You have Cram Cameron Christian and Cameron Woodall at the top of their team with Cameron Christian with, uh, he's 77% from the free throw line. And if you're watching the game, you can see that you have Cox on one and they're playing tight on Woodall as well. Those are their top two players. Okay, look. Oh, and Gidgo yeah, getting up off the bench to come in and play some defense. Paris. Great uh, pass. Demari Paris is in, yeah, for the Panthers uh, running the point there now for Coach Byron Smith. Right side, Gambrell steps That's back. Up. With the fadeaway shot. Great job by Cox. And Cox, man, always <laughs> man, under the bucket. Always blocking out. Here comes uh, Paris with it now to set the play right back up. Paris 
to Gambrell to Cox now. Cox will bring the right side to Paris. Paris now finds a hole. Tries wow. to skip it down in there to Juwan Daniels. Down to three seconds. A good turnaround jumper Got by it. Juwan Daniels for two. Got it. That's, that's a great job by Dewan Daniels. Man, good concentration by the yep. whole team there. Right. We're tied at 16 with 8.22 left to play. Great job shooting that short corner shot. Right side with it is Christian. He almost lost it that time. Gives mm -hmm. it up. Now to deep Peyton three. Taylor for a wow. Steph Curry three, and it's off the mark, and we're coming back. <laughs> wow. Definitely a Steph Curry. <laughs> Definitely that. <laughs> now they're going to slow it down, try to run some offense. Right side from Damari Paris into the hands of Gambrell. Gambrell trying to find a hold. He sees a three-pointer. He's going to stop, get back up top there you go. to Paris. Now to Dewan Daniels, uh, Jawan Daniels, that is, and he's going to be fouled going up towards the bucket. I like the way Dewan Daniels plays. He plays, he plays with a lot of energy. very aggressively. Very aggressive and with a lot of energy. A lot of energy. And he plays within himself. And you he's a him. long guy. He's right. got some really long arms. You really don't realize it until uh, he's uh, swatting it away from you. You know what I mean? All right, ladies and gentlemen, media time out here on the court, folks. Stick around. We'll take a break and come back with more exciting Panther basketball right here on the Prairie View Enemy University. Panthers, Sports Network. Send it off, I suggest, y'all. Send it off, I suggest, y'all. Send it off, send it off. Come on, send it off, send it off. We're back here at the Baby Baby Dome. Panthers 16, Tigers 16 with seven minutes and 40 seconds left in the first half. Yeah, DeJuan Daniels going to the free throw line to shoot two. Made a great drive. He, he's now at the cherry stripe where the uh, Tigers are one for one. This is the second and the second free throw. Daniel shot us away. It's good, man. Yeah. Nice free throws. And you know what we say about free throws. Yeah. Extend leads and win games. Yeah, you Especially go. down to the stretch. The Lady Panthers, uh, unfortunately, couldn't capitalize right. on those free throws. Talked about 9 or 10 in the first half, 4 or 10 uh, in, the in the second, second half. half. Man, that's, yeah, that's a big difference. Second shot is way it's good. 7.40 left to play, 18-16 to score. The Panthers on top now by two. Here we come down the right side. To Michael Morton. Gives it up on the right side. The Tigers lose the ball. There's a mad scuffle for it. Coming back up with it is Cameron Woodall. He kicks it way back out deep for Kelton Another Edwards shot. for three. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Coming down with it was a kick me a home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you try to say, earthly house. Trying to say that was a brick. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, great, great shot. Pass. Under there great pass. To Bo and get God. Bo and get God. That's a warning. They're going to get a warning right. on Cameron. Hang on. But yeah, for hanging on. Got a delay, a delay game warning on uh, White. 20 to 16. The Panthers lead the, the Grambling State Tigers. Here we go now. Morton has it. Working on Cam Mack. Morton kicks it left side. Get y'all with some good <laughs> right. defense, man. These guys are playing long yeah. and oh, tough. They're getting into it now. Defense. And uh, now the uh, Tigers don't like that swarm of defense right. by. The Panthers checking in now for the Tigers is uh, Prince Moss. Well, we talked about the chaotic defense. Uh, and so when you start ratcheting up the defense, turning up the defense, mm -hmm. now your offense will start to play. You it's start it. getting get, start getting easy baskets on the other end. It's crazy how we, we say, does Dwayne Cox, uh, does he get tired? I was thinking the same thing about Jawan and Daniels. Like, he's also an en energizer bunny as well. 14 seconds on the shot clock. They kick it way back up top now to Peyton Taylor. Taylor coming left side, kicks it over to Cunningham. Cunningham with, oh, good spin move. Back out to Taylor with a running jumper. It's in and out, no good. Comes back down. Prince Moss can't hold it, and they get the ball back. No lane violation. No, no. They get the rebound. The rebound, nobody boxed out on the backside. Cunningham brings it right wing. Now comes left, gets over to the elbow, gets it back up. Trying to take the uh, shot was Rayhan Cobb. They get their hands up, and it's no good. And Daniels is going to knock it out of bounds. They're going to, man, Gotta great grab defense, it. man. Yep. All the way down to, to the last second yep. on the 24-second shot clock. Such great defense. Even Coach Smith is playing defense with them. I'm telling you, going <laughs> up and down the court with them. You're, right. you're not kidding. Fresh 20. 
I said 24, folks. 20 seconds. Yeah, Pardon me. Can. Here we go. Right side. They give it over to Cobb. Cobb stops. Gets a birdie. Puts it up from 15. It's the back of the iron. No good. Coming down with it is Juwan Daniels. And here we come with Cam back on the left side. 20, 16, 553 left to play here in the first half. Mac coming around the right side. Mac finding uh, another cup. Ah, they cuffed it or yeah. cupped it. I said cup, but I mean cup. Old school move. You know I know what a cup little is. Little Rucker coach. Park. Little Rucker Park <laughs> move action right there. Well, uh, uh, South Oak Cliff <laughs> Park. Right. Uh, what's the park? Oh, that Keys Park. Keys Park. Down with the Keith. Cliff Club. That's there you right. Go. There you go. There you go. Left side <laughs> with it. Steel. And a steal by Jawan Daniels. Daniels accosted. Gives it up now to Damari Paris. Paris finding a hole now back in the can. Mac, they don't slow it down. Man, this is so intense. Man, that Going defense is definitely chaotic. I mean, that's, I don't, and I think chaotic is an understatement. 5-11 left to play here in the first half. Yeah. Left side with it is Dwayne Cox. Cox coming around the right. Cox finding the hole. He's fouled. No call. Gets it back. Oh, got it. Oh, great in. job. And a good defense there by the Tigers, Rayhan Cobb. Got bumped. But uh, got Stayed bumped. with it. And you know, the Prairie View Panthers are on a 6 0 run right now. Oh, last, out of the last four minutes and one second, 6 0 run. So that's a great job uh, by the Panthers of Prairie View AM. 22. Fouls on number 22. Mm -hmm. uh, and Cox goes in line. D Dwayne Cox at the line. Well, I'm there trying to see the fouls here. Uh, Justice, uh, what's going on? Those fouls on Mr. Moss. There we go. Cox, first shot is away. It's good. <laughs> Prairie Panthers are shooting 44% from the floor, 8 of 18. The Tigers of Grambling State are shooting 6 of 19, 31.6% from the field. Gerardo Briscoe checks in for the Panthers. Cox with one more free throw. 21-16 the score. Second shot is away. It's 22 now. Moss to take it out for the Tigers. And here we go with Travell Cunningham. Cunningham bringing to the left side. Oh, good Cox steal with from a back. steal <gasps> from the back side. And he's Cox, okay. And he's okay. <laughs> Man, you, you want to make sure, boy. Look at that. that energy, boy. I love it. I love yeah. it. That's that run and jump action. Man. And what you Smith call is it. intense today, baby. Right. That's that run and jump action. You have him turn his back, and the man leaves his man and comes from behind. Yeah. Great run and jump action. Great defense. Smith uh, sprints over to make sure that his bonus baby is uh, okay and comes back and fires up the whole side of the bench. Well, I love the it. The Grammy State Tigers are on a scoring drop. They haven't scored the last four minutes and 46 seconds. Great defense by the Prairie View Panthers. To update some scores around the SWAC. Alcorn State, 82. Arkansas Pine Bluff, 48. That's final. Wow. Final score, Southern 102. Mississippi Valley, 61. Wow. Um, yeah, Texas tough. Southern Jackson State game has been postponed. Offensive foul. Offensive foul there by the uh, Grandma State Tigers. will take the walk here. That's 22. Prince Moss is going to uh, pick up his second personal foul. That's Gotta set that screen. You gotta, you gotta stand still on that screen. You got to stand still. Let the uh, let the person run into you, not you go meet the person. And watching these men play, it's they set screens all the time. They're they're running back and forth, and they're so quick with it. You really have to pay attention on what's a foul and what you can let go. Cam Mack brings it up with 4:47 left to play. Mack over to Dorado Briscoe. Great, great lob. For two. Great lob. Great lob. Look, he, he attacks the middle Briscoe lane. He gets a defender. Two. Two on one situation, you throw it up top, get a basket. Here comes Cunningham, 24 16. The Panthers up by eight. Cunningham brings it right side, puts it up high off the glass. It's tipped back in. Is that 21 or 10? It's 21. It's going to tip it back in. Terry on Randolph. It's the first basket in the last four minutes and 47 seconds. 4 04 left to play. Mack with it at the top of the key. Do you think if uh, Smith was wearing a suit, Ray, he'd uh, be out the jacket, turn he around, jump right in the paint? definitely be out of his jacket right now. <laughs> Joan Daniels for two. And that's where you, that's, and that's how you beat the zone defense. You go inside the free throw line and yep. play out. They step back. You hit the floater. You hit the little seven-foot shot knocks it down. 
338 left to play. Right side. Oh, man. Ball's deflected. Ball deflected. Ball uh, deflected. Mack knocked it off of the foot of uh, Cunningham. That should have been our ball. Cunningham kicks it right side with the spin. Right up in the middle. Waddell has it oh, blocked. Great block. And they call a foul. They call no, a block. They call a block. With all, they call a block. And uh, that's going to bring us down to the final media timeout here in the uh, William Nick Center in the first half, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers, man, wow, really getting fired up here. This is exciting Panther basketball on the Prairie View and m University Panther Sports Network. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Welcome back to the Baby Dome. Prairie View 26, Grambling 18. With three minutes and 24 seconds left in the first half. There's a skunk in my house. Uh, I, I thought <laughs> it was just me. Yeah, I smell a, it too. There's a skunk in the Baby Dome. Oh, sorry, Coach. Yeah, Grambling State Tigers shooting 33%. That's yes. a swarming defense by the Panthers. Yeah, that's the skunk there. Here we go. Oh, man. Uh, right. Offensive foul right offensive there. Offensive foul. Drop the shoulder there was uh, Terion Randolph. I mean, you're talking about over the last five minutes and 20 seconds, the Prairie View Panthers are on a 12-2 to two run. Mm -hmm. And their defense is swarming. 33, anytime you're holding somebody under 30, 33% and 40% shooting from the field, that's a great job defensively. Mm -hmm. 314 left to play here in the first half. Cam Mack with it to the left side. Brings it back up top to Jeremiah Gambrell. Gambrell kicks it over to Paris. Paris coming left side. Down to nine seconds on the shot clock. Mack has it, steps back. And, and draws the foul. Oh. That is a classic a James classic, Harden. Classic move. And not only Paris was it right classic, there. the defender fell for it because Instead of standing straight up, he kept going forward. I think it's a little. I think it's a little Kevin Durant. <laughs> I think I, should, I think that's more KD when he really hits him with the step back. Mm -hmm. You know, Harden does a good job, but Kevin Durant does. He does it really smoothly. He, that long stroke, he's standing. Yeah. And they're back on the same <laughs> look, look, team again. <laughs> and the official laughing said, "You know that was a good play." <laughs> Dante uh, Jackson didn't like it. He came back, missed the first free throw, and Coach uh, Byron Matt, uh, Byron Smith. Uh, huh. Drops his head. Well, you got to like the way that the Panthers are playing defense. Uh, uh, again, we talked about uh, Cameron Christian coming into this game leading the scoring. I mean, he's only – he has no – he has one basket. Mm -hmm. He wow. only has one basket so far. That's great defense by the Panthers of Prairie View Indian. Second side of the way, it's no good. Wow. Yeah. Gerardo Briscoe will check in for Jawan Daniels. What did we say last week when we're shooting free throws? You have to be one with the ball. One, one. with the, the force. you got to be Zen. one with the force. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like uh, a little Phil Jackson, the Zen. The Zen? Yeah, the Zen master. <laughs> May the force be with him at the free throw line. 2.53 left to play. The last one uh, was good. Ray uh, wished him in with the force. And uh, now it's 27-18 <laughs> to score. The Panthers on top. The Tigers not going away though here. Not by Great defense. no means a matter. Panthers swarm of defense to get it in on the left side now over to Sarion McGee. The, McGee is in trouble. He has to throw it way back up top and a deep three pointer. He just let that mm -hmm. one go. That time was Christon. That's a foul. And a foul. Man. It's a foul. Coach is not very happy with that one. That foul uh, assess to uh, Bo Ingadal. Well, the swarming defense of the Panthers has just been really amazing. They're trapping everywhere. Uh, they're not letting their not letting any penetration get to the middle of the floor, keeping everybody on one side of the floor, which is great defense. Roberts getting ready to check in for the Panthers, <laughs> getting some uh, instructions. Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> wow. Yeah, to see you smell the skunk. Now, you want to mention the skunk. I didn't Man, say this. I said, Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> Here we go. Right side. Gambrell kicks it over to Great Darrell drive. Roberts. Great Roberts. move. Oh, man, with a good oh, move. Oh, wow. Game. You know, just like, 
Just like Popcorn had him like Jiffy Pop, just had him pop, pop, pop up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I like the food references for, for our minutes. taste buds. All, all right. I, I'm not in there. I'm going to get in trouble. Here we go, right side. The missed shot there was by Terrell. Tavell Cunningham, and the Panthers will get it down a minute and 49 seconds left oh, yeah. to play in the first half. Roberts now brings it around the left side. Steps back, kicks it over now to Mack. Mack looking down uh, to get the pick by Ngidgo. Mack, oh, man, he's so quick. Kicks it over there on the right side. Oh, good pass in the corner to Gambrell. Yeah. For three, looks good. Oh, it's off the mark. Man, that, was a good, that would have been a nice Good play. offensive set. He just the shot didn't fall, but great ball movement. Taylor now to Cunningham. Left corner now. Here they come. And a foul Ooh. called on Chris Strong uh, after trying to go up and uh, battle with Gerardo Briscoe. Right, right. And uh, I think Coach Smith is, is questioning down low when the players was already blocking out before the shot even went up. So he's like, okay. Well, they can't do that unless the shot. It's like he was just pushing him out the way already. At the line to shoot the foul. Who's the foul on? Who they got caught on Briscoe? 14. Yes, 14 was up in the air. Well, I, I, I saw that, but I got to make sure. <laughs> you know, just, 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 I can see it up here, just, but if I see it in here, then that's a problem. If it's, It seemed like they had some technical difficulty with the clock. They got 30 seconds on the uh, shot, shot clock, clock right. there. Right. Missed the second. Great rebound by Bo. They still got 30, 29 seconds. Here we go. And get y'all over to Mac. Mac. Oh, he double dribbled. He didn't call it. They give it back out time now to Gambrell. Gambrell Great pass. Down low to get travel. Travels. And they call it. All, all he had to do was just go straight up straight in the air. Straight up in the air. But well, he was looking for the block. Someone come up and block. Now Henry is uh, going to the locker room. Uh oh. Yeah. I can I can I can tell you exactly what happened. And coach told him to go in. He said no. Now he's going to the locker room. Coach told him to go in and he said no. I guess he yeah. That's what. Then they sent him to the locker room. <laughs> coach told him come on. His teammate said come on, bro. Let's go. He said no. Uh -huh. Oh wow! Yeah. Again, you I'm paying attention to the game. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not watching what's going on on the bench. Here comes uh, Dwayne Cox. And, it, now, and it, this is a great move, putting Cox in with his energy, trying to get a stop right here. And here we go, Trevor oh, Cunningham. Oh, offensive foul. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There it is. And that, yeah, That's why boy, you put him you, in the game. That's a great <laughs> Cox boy. I tell Man. you. Man, that's a clear out. That's a clear out. Look at him. Coach said, go in for a second, do this, and then he just comes right back out. He's really yeah. great for defensive well, purposes. That, uh, and you can't extend it. You can hold it, but you cannot extend, extend it. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Smith does just one of the most amazing jobs I've ever seen in mm -hmm. subbing offense for defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does a great job of that. We saw that a lot um, the other year with Iwin Ellis on offense and yep. Chancellor Ellis on uh, – well, Iwin Ellis on defense and Chancellor Ellis on offense. A little dribble drive action. The elder statesman missing. Here we go, left side with it. Roberts for three, looks good. Oh, it's off the mark. And here we come back the other way. Chris John with the rebound, gets it back into the hands of Travell Cunningham. The elder statesman is also in the building right now. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. These new glasses I have, let me see everybody. Wow, those are <laughs> binoculars. Here we go, left side now. Thinking about it now is Edwards. He almost has it knocked away that time. Yeah. Cunningham, that yeah, is. Yeah, and yeah. down to 10 seconds on the Sackhawk. They're playing for the last one. And Great a, move. A nice. Great move. Cupped reverse it, layup. Reversed it on the side. Uh, Bo was there. He didn't block it. You're really in the cups tonight. <laughs> Here we go. Mac with a deep three-pointer. Oh, hits the front almost. of the iron. No call, no foul. And uh, we'll go into the uh, locker room here, ladies and gentlemen, with the lead. 15, uh, 29 uh, to 22 to score here at the half, ladies and gentlemen, the Panthers on top of Grambling State. Stick around. We'll go to our studios for halftime and come back with more exciting Panther basketball on the Prairie View University Panther Sports Network. All this because it makes a difference. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs>
We're back live here in the William Dick Center. Charles Porter, Ray Wortham, and Coach Ski. Coach, man, an exciting first half. The Panthers are playing with extreme intensity on the, on the defense. I mean, and they're holding the Grambling State Tigers to 30.8% from the field, 8 of 26. Uh, they forced eight turnovers, and they're just keeping them in check. So the swarming defense by the Panthers has really – has really turned up, and it's turned up, and what it's done is also uh, made the Grammar State Tigers become ineffective in their offensive in their offensive sets and shooting the basketball. Just watching them play defense is giving me a headache, just slightly <laughs> because it's so intense. You want to be intense with them, but we we can't be intense right now on the market. You kind of just have to sit here and just watch how their intensity falls on the court. But I really like. I feel like I have this pressure in my head because Coach Smith makes me want to get up and be like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, what about uh, Briscoe and uh, Roberts off the bench? Well, Briscoe, Briscoe, that's a no, – Brisco well, I mean, the energy level. Oh, the energy that, level, no doubt about it. Saying. The energy I mean, level off the bench is just great. But how about this? I think the player – now, I, 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 you know, we, we have a lot of different things. I think Jawan Daniels is making a difference tonight. Well, 20 – uh, <laughs> Daniels with nine points uh, – and uh, let's see, Cox with those five points. Cox is making another difference defensively because he's bothering uh, the Jackson State Tigers. They can't get in a rhythm or a groove because he's already throwing uh, monkey wrenches in his clockwork. So, uh, the, you know, Panthers defense uh, is swarming. And uh, I tell you, it's bothering the uh, Jackson State Tigers well, tremendously. You're, you're definitely, you're no, there's no doubt about it because leading score for Grambling State only has four points. Mm -hmm. So that tells you what kind of defense uh, that the Panthers are playing. Their leading score has four points. He's one of three, only taking three shots. So that means you're not even getting an opportunity to turn and look for the ball. And Gitka is coming back uh, to start the uh, second half in the place of Linnell Henry, who uh, was sent to the locker rooms. So we got Mac Daniels uh, and Gidry. Got a shot clock. And Dwayne Cox out there with Gambrell. Yeah. Starters for the second half. Uh, you've got Mac Daniels, Cox, and Bo. Then for the uh, for the uh, for Grambling, you've got Taylor Cunningham, Edwards, Christian, and McGee. Well, Moss. You got mm -hmm. Moss in there too. T Twenty-two. Okay. Thank you. My information yeah, is wrong. Yeah, they, <laughs> they always do us like that. Here we go, right side on fast break. Here they go. Oh, man, with a nice uh, funky ducky. Transition is, uh, basket. Chris yep. John. Yeah. To start the second half. 29-24 now, a five-point edge. Matt. Up now to Daniels, who posts up on Moss. Ah. He misses everything. And here we go back down the other way. Moss. Tries to put it in there and lays it in. It's uh, blocked, and here comes Christian and, and one. And they're going to call that. Is that Matt coming off him? No, that's going to be in Gitgo. Yeah, yeah. Tough thing for Bo. Bo, I don't know what Bo is. Got to be more aggressive there. Take a step up and take the charge. Don't let him come to you. You go ahead and take the step up. You see him coming, you go ahead and beat him to that spot, and then you make him do something different. Well, you know, coaching really doesn't have a whole bunch of people on the bench either. So... You got to be careful. You got one, two, three. Actually, you got one, two, three players on the bench there. It's a little run now by the Grambling State Tigers to get back in this contest. Only down two. Here we go. Back up top now to Matt. Grambling State trying to match the energy that we also have on our defense. They're trying to take that to theirs. Max to Cox. Cox with a double pump off the glass. Great and then follow. Kickoff with a follow. Great they follow. Boom. Yeah. yeah. That's a great follow by him. Your man leaves to come help. You go right behind him after the miss and put it back in. Daniels holding Prince Moss to only six points. Three points. Yeah. Right side, Sirion McGee gets it into the hands on the right now to Travell Cunningham. Cunningham and gets caught on the left side. McGee, travel. he traveled. McGee traveled. Shot clock and violation. Shot clock violation, and that's good defense again by the Panthers. 
swarming. Dante Jackson says no. He hit his hand. He says no, he didn't. He traveled first. Well, here comes Darrell Roberts. How about this? Either way, we're going to have the ball. Do you want to travel or do you want the shot clock violation? Yeah. <laughs> Which one do you want? <laughs> Take your choice. <laughs> Gambrell will take a seat, and uh, uh, Faith Williams uh, sitting there on the bench with that knee injury. He's got about uh, another week of rehab, and then he'll be back. Okay. A little ball screen action right here. Gambrell with got, a long oh. running jumper. And so what's going to happen right there, that's a great job by Cameron Mack come off the ball screen action. Mm -hmm. Jawan Daniels didn't, didn't, didn't roll to the basket. He's more of a pick and pop, which means when you pick and pop, you defend your cheeks out there to the pop. You go ahead and keep attacking the basket. Mack at the line. Mack's first shot is away. It's good. Max, uh, second shot. I'm sorry, Coach. No, the way it's no good. Free throws extend leads and wins games. Uh, six and nine. Six and nine. From the free throw line. Here come the Tigers. 32-27, 17-52 left to play here in the first half. Back up top, Moss. To the left to get it down low to McGee. Now back over on the left side to Travell Cunningham. There's a mad scuffle for it, and picking it up is Cox. Cox hits it to the right side now over to Darrell Roberts. Roberts back up into the top to the point guard, Mack. Mack coming right side, finding the hole. Oh, man. Kicks it all the way left side. And get going for three. Bo, no. No Bo yeah. that time. Wide open look, though. Here we go. Right, Prince Moss. Stutter steps. He traveled, but they didn't call that one. And they give it back up top now to Cunningham. Cunningham brings it left side. Now back into the hands of Edwards. Offensive foul. And an offensive go. foul on mm -hmm. Edwards. Beat him to the spot. Yep. Yep. Go. He did. Keep, he kept his look, and he kept his body back, straight up. Didn't put play with his hands. As you mm -hmm. talked about it, beat him to the spot, chest up, took it in the chest, goes the other way. And another good point, he didn't overplay. Like he. Right. He, he just, like, he, when that ball was passed, he let it go, but he stayed where he was. 16.59 left to play in the second quarter. Five-second violation. Five couldn't second get it violation. We've could, got to get some people moving around. Right. You couldn't get it in on the inbound. Another, that's an unforced turnover right there. Mm -hmm. There's nobody pressure. You just got to get the ball inbound. That's the... Nice turnover for the uh, Prairie View Panthers. Cunningham with it. Skips it down on the block. Down to McGee. McGee with a turnaround jumper. Hits the front of the iron. No good. Good defense by Bo. Mack. Across the timeline. Steps back. Oh, oh turnover. just throws it away. Who's he throwing it to? It's a good and, foul. Uh, Roberts. They're going to call it intentional because he grabbed him. Yep. Yep, he grabbed him. He grabbed him. He yeah. could have just threw yeah. his hand. If he wanted to foul, just throw your hand in there or just put two hands on him softly. They're going to call a two-hand hand check. Yeah. See, in, in the NBA, you can get by with that. I mean, you know, you, you can grab him in the NBA, but in college you cannot grab him like that's an intentional foul. That's two shots plus the ball. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, and, and see, so Coach Smith is arguing it was a play on the ball. It was, and so, yeah, Coach Smith's argument is it was a play on the ball, but he grabbed him up top. Yeah. And I think, you know, if you grab him around the waist, you may get away with that. But if you grab him up top, they're going to say that's intentional. And he kind of held on to him pretty long, too. Right. <laughs> Moss at the second shot is way it's good. Yeah. That's two shots plus the ball, too. Thirty-two twenty-nine. The score now. The Panthers now have two. Or they have one flagrant one and an intentional foul. Intentional foul. foul. Right. Here comes Cunningham. Kicking the right side. Edwards trying to come on the curl. Moss thought about the three-pointer. Now steps inside, drives, dribbles, puts it up from five. No good. It's tipped into the hands of Cox. And Cox will give it. Give it up to Damari Paris, and he'll run the point for Coach Byron Smith. Roberts 
Almost an unforced Man, turnover. Another one. The uh, Tigers matching the defensive intensity that the Panthers had in the first half. Here comes Cox. Throws it out now to Juwan Daniels. Out deep. to deep shot from Roberts. Mm. No good. And a turnover. And another and M1. And M1. Kelton to Edwards. And M1. And you can tell what the Grammar State Tigers, what, what they've decided to do, what they have decided to do, they're going to spread the floor out and attack the basket or either going to go isolation uh, with McGee and try to keep driving it and get free throws. That is the – this will be the, the uh, 12th and 13th free throw mm -hmm. in the second half uh, for them. 15.40 left to play here in the uh, second half. 32-31, the Panthers down by one. We'll be back with more exciting Panther basketball. Welcome back to the Baby Dome. Prairie View 32, Grambling 31 with 15 minutes and 40 seconds left in the second half. And it appears that the, uh, the, the Prairie View Panthers have become a little stagnated on offense. Yeah, the it Panthers are... 0 for 4 here on their last trip right. uh, down to the bucket. Right. And then you, you compound it. You miss a shot, then you turn around and foul. <laughs> you can't miss a shot, then turn around and foul. So that, that's kind of the uh, scenario that's been going on at least for the last two to three minutes. The Panthers have led by as many as 11, but now have let that 11-point lead dwindle here at the 15-40 mark, 31-32 right. at the first media timeout. Daniels. Who started off hot has been a little quiet. Roberts mm -hmm. gets it left side. Now to get it into Cox. Cox will work from the left wing and looks for an opening. Cox now brings it now, drives to the bucket, mm -hmm. loses it. Turnover. And uh, no foul called on Cox. Yeah, Coach Smith is trying to get or that call. Cox. Left side, Kelton Edwards has it. He's trapped. Edwards throws it up. Oh. Hits the side of the iron. All over the back of Daniels was... Randolph, yeah. and no call. Well, again, you know, again, we're talking about uh, Bo is in the game, which is he's playing extended minutes, you know, which we haven't seen that before with this group. Here we go. Left side coming up. Now it's Woodall. He throws Ooh. up a real brick. Talking Ooh. about building some home. Building home. This earthly. This up. Yeah, he's a pulte <laughs> home. Here we go now. Right side. Great there shot there by Bo. There Bo and Gitgog doing it. Yeah, Bo. and Cameron Mack does Gitgog. what he does best. He penetrates and makes great plays, drops it off, gets a dime, and at the glass. Is that six or nine points for a Bo? <laughs> Bo has I think that's six. four. That's four? Okay. Left side. Here we go. Woodall now brings it right side. And they're going to call. And they're going to call Mack there with a. With the foul on, on the floor. Yeah, well, 31. Well, Ray, remember you talked about this against Texas Southern uh, when we had the big lead, how 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 we started fouling. You know, they ended up shooting almost, what, 30, 40 free throws, Texas Southern did, in the second half because, again, they got back in the contest because of fouls. Mm -hmm. You really have to watch this. This just it, it goes through all basketball. My, my brother's a seventh-grade basketball coach, and he says the same thing, like, don't ruin the game by fouling too much, and it, it, even if it's just silly. Play defense. On the baseline, Woodall takes it and kicks it into the hands of Kelton Edwards again, couldn't, and another fresh couldn't come up shot with clock. It. That's Here a charge. Up. That's a charge. There yeah. you go. You saw that yeah. coming. Yeah, he, he yeah. turned his back with his elbow, though. Yeah. It looked like they need to look at that one. You saw that one coming. But, but the difference was uh, he stepped up. He saw him uh, coming. He got to the spot, beat him to the spot. And took the charge. Yeah, it looks like he got him in the in the back there, in the yeah, kidney there. That's, that's got a tough hurt. spot. That's a, as, as they say, I'm, again, I'm not a doctor. I just stayed at the Holiday Inn. That's one of those soft tissue areas. Soft tissue areas. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Man, he's going to run it off. Let's yeah. give him a nice little round. Uh, yeah. Come on, Panther fans. Well, Darrell Roberts. You, that, give, you give him a give him a round because he took that charge. Yeah, he took a hard, <laughs> that's that was a, a hard one. That's a hard one there. Mm -hmm. you know, that's uh, Moss's fourth foul, and two of his fouls were offensive. Yeah. Now, here's what I want to tell you. This, this, this is an old school move by Coach Smith. What you do is you run out there to get a wet spot out off the floor so you can really say something to the referees while you're walking yeah, out. Exactly, so yeah, that's an yeah. old school move. You know, yeah, that's yeah. an old school I, coach. I, 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 I'll get this sweat off of here. Yeah. Hey, I'll what go you get it. What, yeah. what kind of call yeah. is that? Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Gambrell. Now to Juwan Daniels. Ah, that's a oh, bad man, turnover. Yeah. Yeah. And coach is going crazy. Yeah. 
over here. Coach is intense, man, and that's that's the heart and mm -hmm. the fight of a champion. Well, here we go. Daniels. Good play. Oh, good. Uh, almost a steal. Tip back from behind. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's 10 turn. That Edwards. is the 10th turnover for the for the Prairie View Panthers. Edwards finds a hole. What all? Now spins, turns, left and throws a left handed and yeah. puts it in for two. Yeah. Now the Tigers. Momentum, it looks like it's trying to are shift. Trying to come back. 34 33. The Panthers That's up by one. That's a foul. And a foul there a by Tyrion Randolph. Right, right. You got to give the offense, even if you, you got to give them a bit of hair, like a hair of space. Especially if you jump, they're jumping up and they're about to land, and you give them no space to land. That's automatic. That's automatic. Automatic foul. It's, it's different from a charge. You're beating them to the spot because they're running forward. But if they're up in the air and they're coming down on the it's, it's not like they can fly in the air or anything. You have to give them space. Daniels. Gets the pass in from Mack. And the Panthers uh, had a couple of sloppy passes here as of late. Here comes Mack. Good defense. Oh, Mack just great took move. Man, great, can great I get a move. roll with that? Great move. Great move. Yeah. Hesitation yeah. move. Uh, put him in the rocking chair motion. And, had him, and he laid it up off the glass. Great move by Cam Mack. Peyton Taylor. Kicks it over to Woodall. Now left side, a skip pass down. Yeah, oh, low and man, that's a mismatch that's a there. Mismatch, Good. Yeah. Cameron Christian. On a steal oh, off the inbound. Oh, and a foul. And a foul. And a foul. Wow. Yeah. So you, you, you have a mismatch. Uh, they got lost on the cross screen action. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, so you have a mismatch. Then you turn around and on the inbounds. Give it right back to them. They're trying to – Cox has been riding him the whole game, and their coach knows that's, that, that's a great defender. To get them mix match like that is, is a great opportunity for them to score. Roberts goes into the training table. So now uh, the bench of Prairie View depleted with only two players. You just jinxed him. Gerardo, Gerardo Briscoe. How did I jinx him? He missed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Briscoe and uh, only uh, Paris on the bench you know. for Coach Byron Smith. Where is the team? <laughs> we tied up now. 36, 36, 13, 03 left to play. Uh, and another turnover. Now. So, so the last three possessions, giving up a layup, a foul, and a turnover. Well, we're missing Dorado, Elger, Fate Williams, Miles Washington, Jock Hughes, and Linnell Henry all off of the roster uh, that are not here for Coach Byron Smith. Here we come right side, Woodall. Puts it back up with a lot of effort. Tip in. And it's tipped in there by Rayhan Cobb. Now, you know, rebounds about will and desire. 38-36 with 12-39 left to play. Graham stayed up top. There's a foul, a foul. Yeah, a foul there man. on Dwayne Cox, Cameron Christon. Yeah. He was skating through there. He really was. Again, you talk about the momentum. Momentum might have shifted. Um. For the, to the Grambling State Tigers. Mm -hmm. uh, they're on a, they've scored 16 points in the second half, and Prairie only scored seven. seven. Yes. Darrell Edwards looked like he had a hip pointer there, and he's coming back out now. Here we come. Cam Mack with it now with 12.31 left to play. The Tigers up by one. Mack coming down the right side. Cam Mack stops, puts it up. Oh, draws a foul. Draws a foul. Uh, is that going to be on the... Uh, Rayhan Cobb, that's another one, right. two. The one thing you like about Cameron Mack, the one thing Cameron. No, they give that one, I'm sorry, over to Zahad Munford. Yeah. Cam Mack can. He's struggling right now shooting the ball from the outside. But one thing you can, you put him in a ball screen action or you let him ISO, he can get to the basket. Mm -hmm. Knocks down the first one. Eight, eight of 11 from the free throw line for the Prairie View Panthers. It's important for everybody to make the free throws, but when we get fouls like this and we have not been producing very well on offense, you have to make your free throws. They're free. <laughs> Max second free throws away. It Good. tips in for him. And now the Panthers are uh, up only by one. Yeah. 
Now that uh, wait a minute. Uh, there we go. It's, it's okay. It's tied we're tied up. now. Yeah, uh, the score. You got to make uh, sure. You got to wait. It's a little delay there. Here we come to the right side. Peyton Taylor with it. Now this is where you got to be strong defensively. You don't want to get cheap fouls. Play good, solid defense. Here we come, driving straight to the bucket. A hand on it by Cox. And coming around Gambrell, and there's a mad scuffle for it. Shot clock and violation. Shot clock violation, and the Panthers happy with that swarming defense. I love it. That's right. Great, great job by the by the Panthers. Great, solid defense. Man, uh, media time out here in the Hot William and Nick Center. Basketball right here on the Prairie View and Dem University Panther Sports Network. Favorite pizza joint, right, Aaron? Best slice in New York. Whatever you're craving, this is the Pepsi for you. Back here in the Baby Dome uh, with the Grambling State, Grambling State, Grambling State 38, and the Prairie View Panthers 38. 12 minutes and one second left in the contest. The Panthers, are, Panthers Sorry. are bringing in. Uh, the Cox, Cox with a kickball. Not Cox, that is. Uh, Rayhan Cobb kicked the ball. Got to handle this pressure by the Grand State Tigers. Now, again, we talk about, you know, there's a 10-second rule getting the ball across. And you don't want to spend half of it. Well, we've already got two down, though. Yeah. So, so you got to get it got across. Eight seconds across. Here we come. Can't play with it. Can't, Matt. And they've backed up. Mac gets it across now. Mac is on the dribble drive. Oh, oh man, great good move, move there. Jawan Daniels back over to Roberts. Back out to Mac. Daniels hesitated on the uh, shot there. I thought on he was the way. shoot that. Look at that. All. Oh man, man, that man is quick. That's what Cam Mac can do. Man, you space the floor out. You let him get. You let him attack the basket. Lay it up. Again, he's probably just, uh, slightly taller than Dwayne Cox, but it took him two strides to get into the lane. 11-14 left to play. 40-38. The Panthers up by two. Here we go. Down on the blocks. Rayhan Cobb. Double team. They get it out now. Right side to Cam Christian. Great and rebound by Daniels. down by Daniels. Yeah. Old school chin and check. You see him with the old school chin it, and check? Yeah. <laughs> got those elbows out there. That's how you got that foul. Uh, Good. Does he draw all on the floor? They call it on the floor. Yeah. I'll take That's it. That's Christian. I think that should be his fourth foul. Third. Shooting now. You're in the bonus with 10 minutes and 49 seconds left. Uh, you're up two, but you're in the bonus. You're shooting at one and one. In a bonus situation. And here we go. Daniels at the line to shoot free throws. Now we got to take advantage of the one and one. Right. And hit our free throws down the stretch. We're not at 12 right now, shooting 75% from the free throw line. Shots away. We got to hit those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now at 13. Here we go, back down to the right side with Cunningham. Cunningham back up top with Munford. Back over now to Cunningham. Cunningham finds yeah. the lane and yeah. puts it off the glass but, there for two. Right, everybody came up with the screener and then left the baseline open. He attacks it, lays it up off the glass. Matt with it at the top of the key with a tie game with 10-19 left to play. Coming around the right side now. He's going to the Gambrell. basket. And uh, Mac, yeah, Mac's got to take <laughs> over this one. There you go. Mac finds a hole. You. Puts it up with a teardrop. No, oh, it doesn't fall. Right, you see it coming. When he when he started rocking left, yeah. rocking right, right. Yeah. almost <laughs> like, he, like he's trying to put the guy in the matrix. So he had him shifting <laughs> left, shifting right, and he's like, I'm going to attack you. <laughs> Checking in for the Panthers is going to be Gerard of Risco, and also for the Tigers is going to be Kelton Edwards after this free throw. And this will be the ninth, eighth free throw 
coming up for Mr. Oh, Mack. Eighth and ninth and, free throw coming up and, for Mr. Mack. Hey, look, man, your point guard's got to hit his free throws. Come on. Do I need to bring Greg Burks down here and uh, ah. have Greg Burks come down here and uh, spend a little time with Cam Mack? Well, you know, Cam Mack is 4 of 8, 50%. Uh, the team is shooting 64%, 9 of nine of 14 from the charity strike. Burks led the nation in free throws. Yeah, yeah. So we got to bring him back down here and let him get one. Gambrell is going to check back in now. Makes the second one. <laughs> and uh, give Roberts a break. Yeah. Robert, Roberts, like, you know, you got to like, he's he's grinding it out mm -hmm. through that injury. Yeah. You can still say he's a little sore, limping, yeah. but he's he's, he's grinding he's this out. He's going to get on that bike. Well, he needs to keep moving. Daniels working on Waddell. Or Woodall, pardon me. And here we go, left side now with Terrence Cunningham. Cunningham looking right side, gives it right up to Woodall. Woodall brings it to the paint, kicks it down left side. The turnaround. Great block by Briscoe. Block by Briscoe, and we're going back the other Two way. Two on one. Here we go, Mack now coming down coast to coast with a double pump off the glass. <laughs> there it is. That's Cam Mack. In transition, it's hard to stop him. Yeah, uh, he's been touted <laughs> as one of the best. 11 points now. I'm sorry, 13 points, 4 43, from the Yeah, 43 to 40 with 9.24 left to play. Skip class down to Chris John. Travel. He picks up from Samson. Like he's traveling. Good defense by the Panthers. Man. It's 13th turnover for the Grambling State, Grambling State Tigers. Roberts checks in for the Panthers. Back. Turn almost oh, a ah, turnover. That's the 14th that, that's turnover the, for the Tigers. Comes Panthers. Yeah. Yeah, for real. And he plays so well against Texas Southern. He's struggling tonight. He is. Um, he's really struggling. He's 0 4 from the field. No well, you, points. And, you know, you get out of rhythm because you missed that Jackson State game. Not giving him an excuse, but you get out of rhythm. I mean, you know, we're used to playing these three games right in a row. And, right. uh, you know, the stopping and starting, man, is, is having an effect on all the teams. Turnover. He, he's traveled. Oh. Dwayne Cox, he hit a little wet spot right there. Mm. Dwayne Cox wasn't on him at all. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Gabriel back in now for Roberts. Packing his luggage. Oh, pardon me for Briscoe. Packing his luggage on a trip. <laughs> Samsonite. <laughs> Tourist, American tourist. Let me date myself. What, what, what was the other one? Yeah, <laughs> the, 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 you know, that's me and you. Uh, they're talking about uh, GGs, whatever the name of that place Good. was. BB. BB. Oh, yeah, yeah, BB. Here we go, right side. Daniels has uh, stopped shooting the ball all together. What's going on? Yeah, you know, you want to look right there. They want to give it to Cam Mack. Cam Mack stops from the elbow, puts it oh, that's a hot. Hot. There it is. Hot. There it is. He, you know, now, you, now you're feeling it. He, yeah. He stop, pop, drop. Yeah. He, he, Boom. He got, oh, yeah. While everybody's doing that, they're down there scoring. Yep. You got to get back on defense. And that one's going to go on uh, Dwayne Cox. Yeah. Yeah. 8.46 left to play. The Panthers up 5, 45-40. It's been a very interesting game. Mm -hmm. Panthers came out I've the first been, half. I'm very impressed with, with Grambling. Yeah. Yes. They've hung around. They're playing hard. That Their defense, that they've reciprocated the energy of their defense from ours. And then they, that second half, they came out and they said, okay, well, y'all want to play like this, we're going to play chaotic too. Well, they Randolph's are, uh, first shot is which no good. They're 8 of 15. <laughs> Shooting 57% from the, from the free throw line. Second shot is way. It was too hard. I knew that was when he hit it. They give it over in the corner to Cox. Cox. Now, oh, man, wide open was uh, Daniels. And uh, Coach says, hold on. We wanted to, I want to give it to the hot man. I want to give it to Cam Mack. He's the only person that shot the ball the last five trips. Looks like it's a little zone defense right here by the Grambling State Tigers trying to stop the penetration. Mm -hmm. There we go, Gambrell for three. Oh, count it. Oh. There he is, right on cue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was nasty. And we asked where he'd been, and all of a sudden he steps up. There you go. There you <laughs> he go. Knocks well, it down. He must have heard me okay, <laughs> telepathically, huh? 30 second time out here in uh, the uh, William Nix Center. Folks, want to remind you. Uh, now, there we go here with the uh, internet uh, acting all crazy again. 
Pokemon to remind you that uh, don't forget Panther fans will return to the hardwood for a swag double hitter uh, on uh, January the 30th right here in the William Dix Center. The tip-off is set for 3 p.m. for the women's game, and the men's contest will immediately follow at 5.30 uh, p.m. Don't miss exciting swag basketball action. Remember now, folks, if you come to the game, you can buy them online, or you can get them at the uh, at the uh, ticket window with a credit card only. We've gone cashless, no cash, uh, at least for the tickets. Can you buy Can you buy some popcorn with cash? I think it's, I don't know, we may be all tickets, all cashless. Might be all cashless. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> all right. Well, the Panthers uh, hit the road uh, this weekend to Mississippi Valley State. Uh, Coach, I don't know if you know about the Western Sizzler. Know about Itabina. The, and, and, and Itabina, <laughs> uh, ah. the, the Western Sizzler. Yeah, you and know. And then uh, off to the University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff. Uh, there's a uh, restaurant on uh, 20 that we would always go to when we play football here. Uh, okay. A brown bag or I can't remember what it is now. See, I've got pictures of it in my phone. And see, we, when we go to Pine Bluff, we stayed at the uh, – Holiday Inn. We stayed at the Holiday Inn. But we also stayed at the other Hampton Inn that's right there by the uh, – like a Genghis Grill. Yeah, we, it's, it's a, I forgot the name. It's a Walmart right across the street. Yeah, but it's a, like a Metrodome or something. Yeah. Uh, though, uh, but, but the Holiday Inn's right by the mall. Yeah, the funniest thing <laughs> ever happened to me in my entire life when uh, Coach Barnett rolled down that hill in that mud. <laughs> oh, my God, it was hilarious. Here we go. Turnover. Oh, turnover travel. Yeah. Turnover. It's got to be a wet spot right here. That's the third person. But that I, I, I felt right like if, if you know someone slipped there the first time, you're complaining about travel. Why don't you go out there and, you know, do the old coach move? Go out there with a towel, wipe it up, and talk on. to the officials. Coach has been <laughs> not going to watch it. He ain't going to watch it now. Now he's going to go get the towel. The Panthers up by 8, 48 40, 8 12 left to play. Now the Panthers, see, now they're getting a towel. Okay. After, I'm telling you, something's wet right there. You know, we thought Miss Rosenthal, you know, we talked about her. Falling a lot, so the floor might have been slippery tonight. Yeah, <laughs> might have been. Now, here's what I would tell you: this, this is not fact. Whenever an official asks the coach for a towel, he doesn't get it. The next file is going to be on your team. <laughs> it's going to be on your team. <laughs> your team. I'm not going to say what he said how, how to get his towel. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight oh nine left to play. Forty eight forty. For all the latest news in Panther athletics, visit www.pvpanthers.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at PVAMU Panthers. Gambrell shoots a long three uh, like the other one from the other side. And, uh, doesn't find it. They get it on the right side here. Now over to Woodall. Woodall with a long three. Hits the side of the iron. No good. And now mm -hmm. uh, shot. Gramlin playing a little Harry Carey now, right. trying to score quickly to get back in the game. And that's not their – that's not – that, in fact, that's not Woodall's strength is shooting that shot. He's better going to the basket. And drawing the foul with his left hand. Panthers trying to push it and uh, get it here for the uh, final second half, uh, the final few minutes of the uh, second half. Seven minutes and 30 seconds, 35 seconds left to play. 48 to 40, the score here in the Williams. We're back live here in the William Nix Center. It is, uh, it is it's fired up in here. People are having a great time and living their best life. Long pass down to Jeremiah Gambrell to get over to Dewan Daniels. Oh, man, he's got to dunk that one. But the Panthers get the rebound. And uh, we've got to. We got it back. I'm sorry, Coach. That's all right. That's okay. I understand. I'm still a rookie. Oh, no. no. That's not it. That's not it, Coach. <laughs> But, yeah, he's got to dunk that. Oh, yeah. Two-on-one break, he got to throw it up let him go get it. Juwan Daniels puts wow. it up here ah. with a double bumper, too. And he was looking to pass, it looked like. <laughs> he was about to pass it, and he was like, I'm going to just shoot it. He, just, well, he looked like crazy. he was throwing an alley but everybody, the whole team was laughing. Yeah. 50-40, a 10-point lead, 7-10 left. Turnover. And they're not paying attention, and Gramlin is falling apart yeah. here. Yeah. yeah that, that's 10-point lead, 7 minutes and 5 seconds left, an unforced turnover. I like uh, Coach Dante Jackson's uh, Demeanor. reaction. Demeanor. Yeah, I mean, because that drives a coach crazy with a silly turnover like that. I mean, he should be all over the floor, but he, he gathered himself and tried to encourage mm -hmm. his team to come on and get it together, you, and I like that. Right, you're running each other. 
like Keystone Cops. Yeah, like he's not even paying attention. <laughs> now, let that have been uh, Coach uh, Byron Smith. <laughs> Might have been come different. here, son. I hear him say that all the time. Come yeah, here, son. Yeah, come here, son. You're going to have a little discussion. Here comes Cam Mack with it now. Right side, back up top to Darrell Roberts for three. No. Good shot, good mm -hmm. look. Good Just look. Ended. Great set. Here we go, left side now. Cunningham. Trying to take it right side. Woodall takes it baseline. Block. Oh, got it without fencing. Ah. Dropped his shoulder. Dropped his shoulder. Dropped his shoulder. Dropped his shoulder. shoulder. Dropped his shoulder. And the Panthers, man, uh, probably draw more fouls in the Southwestern Athletic Conference, <laughs> uh, Athletic Conference than any other team. Wow. He, dro he dropped his shoulder. He's left-handed. He, he, he dropped his shoulders going baseline and taking the chest. Cox. Shoots Great it all the pass. way left side now to Gambrell. Gambrell. Off wow. one. Great move. Took, and he took the bump and laid it up off the glass. Mm -hmm. 52 to 40. 624 left to play. The Panthers up by 12, and they are excited about it, folks. Mm -hmm. Playing uh, uh, very, very undermanned uh, <laughs> here today. Very, very undermanned. I think it's only, let's count them. Let's see how all is out there. Eight players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's three on the bench. Three on the bench. Wow. And Fate's out of crutches. He, I, I, I know he's ready to get back. Yeah, uh, he's he sprained his knee, mm -hmm. so he's going to be out. They told him uh, two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that kid's tough. He's getting uh, he's getting treatment every day. Good. Mm -hmm. And uh, Faith Williams is another Dwayne Cox. Wow. Uh, on defense, so. Uh, well, again, the. the the uh, Panthers have forced 17 turnovers. They're holding the they, ho they are holding the Grambling State Tigers to 37.5 percent from the field, 15 of 40. Wow, that's defense. The Panthers on a 12 <laughs> run uh, since the last three minutes and 46 seconds. And, uh, and so. Grambling's on a scoring drought. They haven't scored in the last four minutes and four seconds. Well, here we go. Man, that's swarming defense, boy, I tell you. Yeah. Coach keeps telling him, watch your hands, watch your hands. Here we go. Travel. Edwards. Great block. Oh, wow. It's a block <laughs> that time, man, just by, just taken Ooh. away there by Darrell Edwards. And we come back, Darrell Roberts, pardon me, and we come back down the middle, and there's a foul called here on the floor. Well, let me tell you what I liked about that. He didn't block it. He grabbed it out of the air. Is and you 30, 11? Yeah. There we go. He grabbed it out of the air. Like, it was just, it, it was almost... Like the ball didn't even get to leave the guy's hand almost. Ten team fouls. We're shooting two all the way now here for the rest the rest of the game. And uh, coming up off the bench is going to be McGee, Serion McGee. There you go. Gambrell shot us away. It's good. Now the Panthers have found their groove back. All this. Where's defense, Stella? Defense and offense. Defense, transition baskets. You, you, you rebound the basketball. You push it up the floor. You're looking for that easy transition basket. Gambrell trying to push the lead to 14, and he does. 54 40 with turnover six. on his own oh, nine wow. left to play and another turnover. Cam Mack with a great defensive play and something's going on. Reset the shot clock. What's going on? Right. Something's with the shot clock. Yeah. It didn't reset. That's what happened. That's the 17th, that's the 18th turnover for the Grambling State Tigers. Wow. Panthers won't have it easy on the road with Pine Bluff. George Ivory, my good friend uh, down George there. George that, in that 2-3 two, 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 zone. And that uh, <laughs> long Steve Harvey suit he's going to be wearing. Oh, no <laughs> doubt. And holding that piece of paper. Uh, yeah, rolled up. <laughs> and a foul. Yeah. Offensive. Offensive, Offensive foul. foul. Yeah. Caught, caught him Called with on the Gambrell. Mm -hmm. yeah. And here comes Briscoe back in the game for Roberts. Five fifty nine left to play. Fifty four to forty the score. Sarian no McGee loses oh, the ball. Oh yeah. He tried to draw a foul. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. Yeah, he tried to draw a foul. Mm -hmm. But again, he didn't take his time. He tried to go quickly and draw the foul, and then he ended up yeah. throwing and the ball out he, of bounds. He lost it, yeah. Jackson, Dante Jackson is saying, hey, man, he was fouled. No, he wasn't. He just lost it. Here we go, Gambrell gets it to Roberts. 
Over to Gambrell. He brings it down left side. And it's knocked away with some good defense there by Cameron Christian. I'd like to give a shout out to our two time SWAC champion, Antoine Lister. He is playing for the Year Van Mad Foxes in the Armenian League A, averaging 27 points a game. Wow, wow. That's big time. Anton Lister from right there in Brenham, Texas. Went to Blinn College and transferred right here to Prairie View. What a great kid, too. Dwayne Cox from 15 puts it, hits it the back of the iron, no good. Oh, and Cox wow. steals it away. Man, I tell you, Cox, man, he is all over the place. Got to get it across. They finally do. Edwards takes it straight to the bucket. And one. And one. Yeah, that's a foul you don't need. Let him go. Let him lay it up. Uh, that's going to go against uh, Cox, I think. Oh, Gambrell. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're going to get that one to Gambrell. So everybody's in the bonus. We got one team shooting a double bonus and, and one, one team, team shooting the bonus. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's going to be an and one on that one there. Right. So 54 42, 513 left to play here in the second half. Up off the bench for the Tigers, Tyrion Randolph. And an official. Junior from Allen, Texas. And you see the officials asking for a tile again. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Preview, the Preview Panthers are shooting 50% from the field, 20 of 40. They've taken 40 shots tonight, and they're shooting 50%. Uh, from the free throw line, they're 12 of 17. Uh, they've got uh, 15 turnovers, 28 rebounds. They are winning the rebounding battle 28 to 24 against the Grambling State Tigers. But we have seen a momentum shift. Uh, for Absolutely. The, for the Prairie View Panthers. At the line shooting free throws, uh, Travell Cunningham, the senior from Chicago, Illinois, puts it up. It's good. The end one is completed. Got him out of the Cox. Cross court to Gambrell. Gambrell trying to get it to the hands of Cam Mack, and they do. Great bounce pass. 4.57 left to play in this one. Gambrell has it at the top of the key. Crossing him over. Now brings it. Oh, great pass over there to Roberts off wow. the game. Great pass. I mean, great two-man basketball. Drive, kick, and dropped it off. Left side with it. Chris Strong, he'll put it up for three. It's the back top. of the iron. It's the top of the backboard. He's, he's four of six from the field tonight. Um, so now he's four of seven from the field. They've done a great job containing him. The main person that they've been, they've had on him is Dwayne Cox. Nah. Coach said that is your assignment tonight is to stay on him. Gambrell kicks it over now to Cam Mack and Mack across the timeline. Cunningham tried to cut him off. Mack working around the right side. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Mack over to, oh, man, great, great pass. pass again. And wow. Darrell Roberts for two again. Great pass by good Juwan assist. Daniels. That's a great assist. Oh, deep three-pointer. That three one was out. nasty. Uh, finally, the uh, Groundland State Tigers get off of that shooting drop. Jamel Cunningham hit it. A uh, 355 left to play, 58 to 46. The Panthers are on top of the uh, Grambling State Tigers here in the William Nick Center. Stick around. This is the final media timeout. We'll come back with more exciting Panther basketball right here on the Prairie View A&M University Panther Sports Network. Welcome back to the Baby Dome. Panthers 58, Tigers 46. We're three minutes and 55 seconds left to play in the second half. Some great basketball being played here, played here in the uh, William Nick Center tonight. Well, and then, and then you 
Coach, uh, Coach Smith was telling Cam Mack not to go under the screen. You have to go on top of the screen so you don't leave the shooter open to knock down a three-point shot. 347 left to play. Here comes Roberts, and he's going to be fouled going straight to the bucket. Gets hammered that time mm -hmm. by uh, Cameron Christian. That's a, that's a great job. That's a great job of attacking the basket, uh, especially when you know everybody's in the bonus situation. And you know you're going to shoot two. You're going to shoot two. So you know when you're in the bonus, the best thing to do is to keep attacking the basket. One or two things happen. You, you, know, you know, you hopefully you'll get a foul and you get to the charity strike. First shot is way no good. Wow. That's 12 of Good to see some fans in the stands here, though, I, I tell you. It is. First couple of games, it was just uh, really quiet in here. Everybody finished moving in today. Second shot is the way it's good. So, uh, I mean, I'm – I wonder what percentage of students are on campus as opposed to when you guys got sent home, well, not actually sent home, but uh, when the COVID hit last last semester. Yeah. Are you having a full? Do you have a full uh, um, body of students? Yes, yes, all the student athletes. Yes, yeah. you know we're, we're servicing our job is to service all the student athletes. Absolutely. So we're de we're we are definitely uh, doing that. Prince Moss for three. Hits the side of the iron, no good, man. Prince Moss has been quiet here tonight. He actually, he had four fouls in the first half. Uh, mm -hmm. Cox gets it right side with 319 left to play. Back up top to Darrell Roberts. Ball screen action. Roberts looking to go right side, now brings it left. Kicks it back out to Daniels, back over to Roberts. Now to nine seconds on the shot clock. We've got to do something. Roberts thinking about it. He'll just shoot it up. Misses everything. <laughs> And uh, uh, had to take the shot. They got him caught behind the line here. And then here comes the uh, Tigers. And a nice shot there by Kelton Edwards. 59-48, 2.46 left to play. The Panthers need to score here. I'd keep it in the hands of Cam Mack. Well, what they're doing, they're going to face guard Cam Mack, hopefully. They did that last possession where he couldn't get it. Once he gave it up, you don't let him get it back. Yeah, Roberts. This is where Cam Mack is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Looking for Cam <laughs> Mack, yeah. yeah. He's sneaking around like a, a little Chester cat. He got a stop spot for three. Oh, uh, my goodness. You don't want that shot. You want to go to the basket. He's been doing yeah. well going to the basket. Spotting up for three is Peyton Taylor, and he's off the mark. Here come the Panthers. Yeah. Now, Mack just slowing it down now. Right. right. Uh, getting uh, close to the two-minute mark. See, let him, let him do that. Space the floor out. Back in the front. Yep. Here comes a little ball screen. Two minutes. Daniels. They brought has it. it right side back up top now to Cam Mack. Mack. Oh, oh, man. Try to throw Trying the to find the lob. Yeah, the Dwayne Cox down there on the baseline. And here we go. Justin Edwards is going to be fouled uh, by Darrell Roberts. And, and that's the one thing as, as Cam Mack, um, as talented as he is, you know, as he gets starts to play more games, you know, you just got to – he won't make that same pass, I think, two weeks from now. I think now it's just the excitement, just getting back to playing. But I do think two weeks from now he won't make that same pass. No. I think what, – what, what, What's going on? It's the, we know it's the 10th team file. You put 10 up there. So I do, I do think Cam Mack will get better uh, as he starts to play more games. Yeah, I, I mean, he doesn't have all his pieces there. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, right. Like I'm saying, we, you know, the Panthers only have eight players. Right now they're one – well, they're, they're three players on the bench. Uh, 30 is on the bench uh, also for the Panthers. Right. And then you talk about that lob play. Sometimes, you know, you, you know, Cam Mack, that's not a pass. That's not what you want to do. You're no. going to see you go to the basket. Denario Edgar is on the bench. Okay. So you got Edgar, Briscoe, and, and Gidgal with uh, Paris. So you got four players on the bench. You got nine players that he's playing with. So he's down six. Here comes the trap. And they're going to face guard and not let him get it back. Here we go. Now Roberts in the corner to Gambrell. Down a minute and 30 left to play. Here we go. Now Cox dribble drives. Down to eight seconds on the shot clock. Cox says, I'm going to take it. Cox with the right hand puts it back up off the glass. Almost got his own rebound and we're going back the other way. Moss every time. Cox misses one. He looks at Byron Smith like, please don't spank me. Here we go now. The Tough Kelton shot. off the glass. No good. And now the Panthers now in control here with under a minute left to play. Yeah, keep away. Uh, 
Yep. The Panthers. Yeah. In the words of the great, in the words of the famous Dandy Don. Lights oh out. <laughs> the party's over. Yes, sir. You're showing your age, man. <laughs> the wild world of sports are you. <laughs> well, the Panthers are going to have to shoot one more time. They uh, throw it away. That's a bad pass. That's, you don't need to make that pass. And, uh, man, the stop spots for three. Nope. And uh, that's going to do it that's right there. Go on, Daniels. Stop. Is getting stop, the rebound. Stop, stop and uh, the give it back there out to Cam Mack. There, there you go. go. That's ball, man. That's a great fight. And the Panther great, fans. Great fight by the Tigers. Uh, by I the Panthers, it. I'm sorry, by the Panthers. No, the great. you're absolutely right. Great fight by the Tigers, man. They played a <laughs> heck of a game. I'm very <laughs> impressed uh, with the Tigers. Uh, if you looked at them last year to this year, man, their intensity level has is shifted completely. Completely different. Three seconds left. And that's going to do it here in the William Dick Center. The Panthers are 2 0 in conference play for the win over Grandpa State right here in the William Dick Center. Stick around, folks. We'll take a quick break, come back and wrap this one up. This is exciting Panther basketball on the Prairie View AM University Panthers Sports Network. Welcome back to the William Dick Center, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers victorious here tonight by a score of 50 to 59, man. I, I, I tell you, uh, Coach, your defense, your swarming defense uh, is just incredible. Uh, I know after you get through with a game, you got to go sit down and take a nap somewhere because I got to go take a nap just watching you. But I, I've been watching you for a couple of years now here, so I already know the intensity level. But, man, uh, Cam Mack is exactly what you said he is. Uh, Daniels, Jawan Daniels started off hot, but, man, uh, Gambrell came through in the end. And, man, again, David uh, Dwayne Cox is uh, the, the cog that keeps your clock works rolling defensively for the Panthers. Yeah, uh, exactly, uh, Charles. And, uh, you know, we, we, we've got guys that uh, – on any given night, you know, can, can put the ball in the basket. But we also have guys on any given night that can step up and be the defensive, uh, be the defensive stopper. I thought Cam Max defense was really good. Obviously, Dwayne Cox is considered our, our best defender and probably the, maybe one of the best defenders, if not the best defender in the conference. But I thought everybody on the perimeter gave a concerted effort tonight defensively. I thought our inside was a lot better. We didn't score the ball the way that we wanted to. We were a little bit cold. Uh, but hey, a win's a win, and uh, we got to get back to work offensively. But defense is really carrying us right now, without a doubt. A couple of things before I let Coach Key jump in here. Uh, 15 assists. Man, you guys are really, really sharing uh, the ball real well. Uh, your turnovers uh, at 17. I know you, uh, you, you're going to uh, correct that real, real soon. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Cam Mack led the way with 15 points, and uh, Jawan Daniels uh, followed up with 11. Uh, four steals. Uh, but, man, y'all got – y'all let grab the state steal the ball away from you ten times. We got to make sure that we take care of the basketball. You, you know what, Charles, you're exactly right. I've spoken just like a coach. I might need you to come out and get out of that uh, that microphone and, and come go on the bench, you, was, you, and, uh, you and Mr. Narleski. Uh, but what I will tell you, if you if you really think about it, in all fairness, uh, a lot of our uh, turnovers were fatigued. Yeah. Yeah, we were yeah. tired. And, and uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we're, we're a little bit short not having Fate Williams. Uh, out there, Linnell Henry, you know, had a little bit of a uh, you know mishap tonight and got a little frustrated. So, you know, we didn't have the numbers tonight. And, um, you know, Damari Paris can play some point guard, but I think he's just still getting acclimated, uh, you know, to how we play and things like that. But I think he's going to give us some good minutes down the stretch. I need to find more time for Mac to rest. I think, a lot, again, a lot of the turnovers will be from fatigue. Uh, and we got to work on that. So either we got to get more players, or we got to run more sprint sprints in practice, <laughs> with whichever they prefer. But well, you know, and coaching you and I, hold on, I don't mean to cut you off, coach. I know it's your you turn, did. but you we did. talked about the conditioning. Right. You know, these these stoppages. Yes. Uh, when you have to uh, quarantine for seven days, yes. you ain't doing nothing sitting in at the right. at the place right. eating right. all day. So you're not really getting your exercise unless you're doing push up or jogging in place. You can't go nowhere. Right. So uh, yeah. you know that really uh, uh, hinders the players when we talk about conditioning. I, I, I would agree. I would agree. Coach Smith, I just got two questions for you. Mm -hmm. It was 38-38. And talk about the fight that your team had to go ahead and persevere when the game got tight. And that's the first question. Second question is, I am definitely surprised that you I'm that you outscored them 34 to 26 in the paint because you have a smaller lineup. More athletic, but a smaller lineup. We talk about those two things. 
Yeah, you know, obviously, Skiz is a good point, and you know, <laughs> that, that's what this program has been built on—a lot of grit. Right. Uh, you know, just fighting. Uh, you know, tough times don't last, but tough people do. We're a tough team. Uh, we always hang our hat on that. And uh, you know, the one thing we said—maybe we're not scoring the basketball, but we got our defense got to pick up. Yes. Flying around has got to pick up the 50-50, the hustle, start taking charges. You're a basketball guy. You know how it goes. <laughs> I do. And uh, and, yep. and I think we did some of those things, and then we yeah. showed that we can win different ways. Yes. Uh, you know, obviously, in, uh, the, the points in the paint. I, I think it's just telling these guys, hey, you know what? You know, when you're 20, 21 years old, hey, it's time to grow up, you know, and, and be a grown man in there. You know, obviously, uh, you know, you don't measure man by his height, you measure man by his heart. That's right. And I think we play with a lot of heart, and I think our guys, when they get the ball on the inside, uh, they better finish. If not, then I'm going to finish them the next day. Of uh, I do, I do. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I believe that. <laughs> Coach, um, going into traveling this weekend, what is something that you guys should be working on? Well, first of all, you know, I got to call CP to get some hookups down at Mississippi in the middle of the final place to eat. Hey, man, see, uh, that's people, first and foremost. people getting mad if he's talking about places to eat. Uh, I, I, do, I do love the middle of Mississippi because I get a chance to get out and run in the woods, man. It kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, the, the film Mississippi Burning and stuff uh -oh, like that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, but, but, uh, but, but obviously with Valley, they're a little bit down. Uh, obviously, uh, second-year coach Lindsey Hunter. Uh, you know, when I talked to him, he said that he's still trying to, you know, get, get his team, get the kind of players in there that, that he likes. And obviously it was tough for him this year with the pandemic, not being able to have kids come and visit the campus. Uh, but I, I think they are an up-and-coming program. we got to go in and defend. Uh, we got to go in and rebound. Because the one thing I do know that every every team that plays us, that's kind of their championship. It makes their season to be Absolutely. Perfect. So uh, we can't have a letdown. You know, they're a little bit down right now, but we got to go in with all barrels loaded. And we got to come out and play a full 40 minute basketball game. And obviously on Monday night, uh, Pine Bluff is a real tough team. And only took a, a tough loss tonight at Alcorn. Uh, but, but they'll bounce back and they'll be ready to play, uh, be ready to rock against us on Monday night. So we got to go play, play two full 40 minute basketball games uh, with uh, enthusiasm, energy, effort, and toughness. Our purpose Preparation has to be good. Our approach to the game's got to be good. Our execution's got to be off the chain. If we do that, I think we can be successful. Well, how about that zone? You know, Ivory's famous for playing the 2-3 zone. Even when I left the swag, now I'm back. He's still in the 2-3 zone. But you've got you've got such great guard play yeah. with the, with Cam Mac that yeah. can penetrate and kick. Yes. I don't see I don't see that zone that he's been famous for right. stopping your penetration and kicks. I hope you're right, Cam. I, 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 I call George Ivory the black Jim Beheim. Uh, yeah. That 2-3 zone. He's always got two tall guys up front. He's got yep. three tall guys on the back, and they really execute that thing well so the ball the ball sticks uh, it can give them some momentum their zone gains confidence when the ball sticks but if we move the ball around uh, dribble penetrating look for kick outs and uh, if we play behind the zone I think we can have some success we got to start making some shots and I think we'll do that because we're going to have a tough week of practice this week so we'll be prepared for those two tough opponents coming up on, on Saturday and Monday well coach you know we walk around with a target on our back but we're going to walk slow talk low so nobody will notice us absolutely. and we're going to ease on into Birmingham and uh, get this thing done again absolutely coach thanks a lot for stopping by folks that's going to wrap us up uh, here tonight. The Panthers again victorious uh, by the score of 59 to 50. Great basketball game if you watched it. Uh, don't forget the Panthers hit the road this weekend. Take on the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff in Mississippi Valley. Valley then Pine Bluff. Our next broadcast right here in the William Nick Center will be on January 30th. Saturday, January 30th when uh, the Panthers take on the big Alabama State is uh, first. a and is first. Okay, a and first uh, on Saturday and then State on Monday. Uh, the women's game will kick off at 3 o'clock Saturday, and the men's game will uh, kick off at uh, about 5, about a 2, 2.30 pregame. We'll get the pregame to the pregame going at about 2.15. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, we're going to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen, for Raquel Wortham, uh, Coach Ski, and uh, Coach uh, Byron Smith, Charles Porter, our Sports Information Director, uh, Ms. Latanya Thurston, and our engineer, Mr. Michael West. Couldn't do it without Michael West. And uh, also our uh, athletics director, Dr. Donald Reed, and our assistant athletic director, Ms. Elise Pete. This is Charles Porter saying so long. We'll see you next time with more exciting Panther basketball. Yeah.